This country has existed since its inception. At night the sky is as dark as ink, because there is no moon or stars to shine. The sky is like a black carpet covering the entire country. One day, four boys from this country invited each other to travel the world. They came to another kingdom. Here, after the sun had set the mountain, a ball of soft light appeared hanging on an ancient oak tree. Grand. Light shines throughout the country. Although it is not as bright as sunlight, under that soft light people can clearly see and distinguish everything. A few passers-by stopped to watch. They asked a farmer driving a horse cart passing by what that bright object was. The other person replied, that is the moon. Our village chief bought three thales and hung them there. Every day he had to pour oil and wipe it clean so that it burned evenly and emitted a soft light. He received a salary of one taller per week. When the farmer was gone, one of the passers-by said, We probably need a lamp like this. In our hometown there is also an ancient oak tree. We can hang it on the tree. Dot. How happy we are to no longer have to grope around in the night. The second person said, Do you know, the people here can go buy another one to hang, let and number 39. S quickly get a cart and horse to transport this moon right away. The third person said, I and number 39. Am good at climbing trees, let me climb up and take it down. The fourth person brought the cart and horse. The third person climbed up the tree, drilled a hole through the moon, tied a rope and let it down. When the sparkling ball was on the cart, they covered it with a towel so that no one would know about it. They took the moon and took it away. They brought the moon safely back to their country and hung it on the top of a tall oak tree. The moonlight shined throughout the fields, the houses and alleys were filled with moonlight, young and old were happy. The little people raced out of the cave to enjoy the moon, and on the step, the earthlings dressed in their clothes danced in circles together. Four people who take care of pouring oil every day and cleaning soot every week receive wages. But then with the years, they become old. When the first person got sick, he knew he wouldn't and hash 39. T survive so he told everyone he wanted to take a quarter of the moon and bring it down to the nine streams. After this person died, the village chief climbed a tree, took a pair of pruning shears, cut a quarter of the moon, and placed it in the deceased and number 39, S coffin. Although the moonlight is not as bright as before, few people notice that. When the second person dies, another quarter is also distributed to that person. The moonlight is no longer bright. But when the third person died, another quarter was buried with it. Now the moonlight was dim. When the fourth person goes to the grave, the last quarter is taken and buried with the deceased. Now the night is as pitch black as before. Whenever people go out at night, they have to bring lights, otherwise they will bump their heads into each other. In hell, which is always dark, those four pieces of moon are combined into a bright ball. The moonlight is not as bright as the sun, but is a soft light, so it suits the eyes of people in hell, they move, then wake up from their constant sleep. They stretched, stood up, became cheerful and resumed their old rhythms of life. Some went to gamble and dance, others went to pubs to drink alcohol, and when they got a little drunk, they started arguing. Making a ruckus in the whole area, and then pulled out their beggar and number 39, S sticks to fight. The noise caused by arguing and fighting became louder and louder. It echoed all the way to heaven. St. Petrus, whose duty was to guard the gates of heaven,
heard the commotion and thought there was a rebellion in hell. The saint blew the horn to warn the soldiers to gather in case the mobs in hell arose and chased them down. Waited forever but didn't and hash 39. T see them pull up. Saint Petrus mounted his horse and rode through the gates of heaven to hell. The saint calmed him down and ordered someone to return to his grave. After cleaning it up, the saint took the moon and brought it back to heaven. So the moon hangs in the sky as we see it today. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.